as you can see this is a really big print it's taken up just about the whole size of the bed well as a rectangular shape that is it's going right to the corners of edges of the bed that corner over there is a little bit dubious but what I wanted to try and do was do a chill, uh, filament change just a second and then put my other light on see you can, there's only a little bit small amount of filament left on here so I plan to use up some old filament I've got I'm pinning the PLA I've got this which as you can well if I can get lights on it as you can see there's not that much left on it but there's probably enough really I want this to a certain extent only to be a test piece anyway a trial so when it gets a bit near the end of the spool I'm going to ask for a filament change and I'll show you what happens when I do that this is the FL Sun QQS one problem is it might be halfway through like doing the layer well not just the layer but like going across the layer when I do the filament change and I don't know how that will impact it will it be half blue or quarter blue and the rest red or what so you can see there's only a small amount of filament still on the spool there one good thing about this spool is it is transparent so you can see through it get an idea how much filament is left and the colour of that filament I suppose this is 70% speed and you can see how fast it moves sometimes I don't know if that's just travel without printing I'm assuming it is I'm trying 70% because I'm, so far as I know there's no advantage doing it 70% as opposed to 100 apart from you're going to go slower the pins might be physically stronger at 70%. I am doing 0.3 layer height because I want to print fast. Speed is more important than quality in this case. But it's only prototyping. And there's only about two coils on the spool left. So I'm going to see about changing the filament now before it gets... Because sometimes I have the filament actually going inside the spool and it'll hook on if I'm not careful if, it, if this manufacturer has done that or not I don't know to be honest right I'll pause the camera a little bit so here goes just pushing this up. and there we are Tends to come out with a bit of a string. Let me put the soundproofing back up. That tends to fall down. Actually, it's, I need to um, have a better idea than what I've got here because this tends to, well, the spool tends to bang against that end. So I'm just going to feed it as you would normally feed a filament uh, let's go that way around I think oh no I will go this way around sorry I'll move down a bit a bit awkward for me to do this camera and thing at the same time so I'm just going to cut that off when I can find my cutters I've been done with them I'll come back when I find them so I just cut it at an angle watch out for flying bits you are expected to wear safety glasses running uh, using these I'm going to bend, manipulate the filament to be a little bit straighter after it's been on the spool 
Remember that if you leave stuff on a spool it might absorb water depending on the filament type. So you might have to watch out for moisture. This hasn't been out all that long I don't think. Doesn't have to be perfect I don't think but somewhere hopefully a little bit straighter. Pop this over the top. I know you can't see this but take my word for it and I'm putting it into the and I'm pushing the lever again. I'm pushing it so that I know that's down in here. We can't really see it. One problem with these white boarding tubes is it's very hard to see the filament there. Let me put that down there so it's not going to get caught. I think that'll be okay. Right. Unload filament complete. Click to confirm or return. Let me take you down so I can show you that. Uh, hopefully you can make that out. I'm going to confirm. Now we need to put the filament back in so I'm going to press the in button here. Ah, extrude. That might be to extrude the old filament so to speak so that you can get a change in the colours which I'm basically going to be doing here. I'm going from blue to red because that's all I've got basically. Might as well use up the filament. Yep, that's feeding. I can see the spool turning. See the wheel turning here. I think boarding systems tend to use a lot of filament just in the boarding tubes. Um, I reckon this is almost, well easy, three, meet, three feet long, about a metre, this boarding tube here, I've never measured it. Right, and there's some blue filament coming out the nozzle there, pushing out the blue filament. Is loaded, please wait. Click, click to continue, confirm, or return. And I'm going to extrude a bit more. I don't think anything's happening there. Right, I'm just going to clean that nozzle off with some pliers. Long nose pliers. Yeah, there's a bit of red there. And I'm going to ask it to go on to go back. Can we see that? Yep, back. And resume. Now it should start printing in red. I'm just going to move the camera a bit. Yes, that is. You can see, it almost looks purple at first. I think we should get a mixture of blue. I don't know. It didn't seem to extrude there when I asked it to. It seemed to be greyed out that. It would be nice to have an extrude a bit to get rid of the old filament. I don't want to press like the in button again, whichever it is, when you're feeding filament in, because it might do quite a bit of filament. Yes, that's definitely going in red now. Now, depending on this print, I might have, to, uh, uh, sorry, on the spool, it hasn't got that much filament on, but it might be enough for this because it's going to do like an outside edge after it's done this big, biggish plate. As I say, it's full bed size, as good as. I'll put some sizes on the video here. That seems to be going touch wood. Fine. 
to show you the display. So we've got, oh, that's better if I shield that light I think. So we've got pause, stop, change, another change, preheat, more and back. We're going to do back so we get on the standard screen. And you can see the red starting to lay on top of the blue there. This is probably the first time I've ever done a colour color sort of change. It's very easy on this printer, as you've probably seen there. I don't think there's any tips I can give you. Um, just like you normally put a filament in, cut, cut it at the angle, try and straighten it a little bit, so long as it's got past the gear and it's starting to go in the board and sort of tube at the top. Then you can select the option. Well, it seems to be starting to do the edges of this will be like a, a box in a way. But I imagine it's going to go over this again yet. Can't see it leaving it like that. It's doing some of it, yeah, it's going over the top, but now it's going like cross ply and plywood. Uh, one's, the first layer is going that way, this layer is going this way. Doing such things will add strength, I reckon. And that looks like it's doing alternative layers when it's coming over this way. I think I've got, ooh, I reckon, a half an hour maybe before it starts getting low on this spool estimation, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. I'm going to pause the camera again. I just wanted to pause the camera so I can try and show you the uh, head moving, actually over the base that's laying down. There's a bit of focus this camera, I'll do a new camera, new tripod. Hint, hint, Christmas is coming. Try taking your back up again. It's about 2 hours 22 minutes into this big print and now it looks almost like it's a red print. Start, but really it started out blue as I show you. So the bottom layers will be blue or the bottom layer will be blue and this layer is red. And I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to change the colour again as it goes through this print.
there's the display there and it's only on 2% Well, as I say, on the, um, on the LCD 128 for the ramps, for example, you can't go by the percentage of 100% how long it's going to take, in my view. Because if there's less to print later on in the print, it's going to impact than the beginning of the print, so to speak, which might take longer to print. I'll just get this up. Have I got my phone? Yes, I have. I'll just show you this. I showed you this in one of my other videos. I'll just show you this one. So, MKS My Cloud. Go on Equipment. Go on Local Printer. Click My Printer. I'll probably have to move back here. So it's loading. Doubt if I can pull a focus that well and um, get both in at once. And there we are. So we can see the temperature, the heat bed, and the time. So it's two hours, 25 minutes. Yes, that's right. And 2% done. Whew, is that all? Now I'm wanting to go to bed. But there's no filament run out on this. So I'm thinking of possibly even pausing the print. I'll leave it going a bit longer. So this is the application on my phone. I think this is for camera this area. I don't have a camera installed. Uh, that's to warm me to keep a check on the spool. It's still a reasonable amount. I would. It's low, very low. But there's a, enough on the spool, I think, to keep going a little bit longer. I'm not sure if you can make it out here, but it's a bit like castellation, the edge of a castle. Same on the back edge. Right, I'm about to pause it. I'm going to pause it partway through. Oh, I was going to pause it partway through to do the uh, retractions. Let me zoom out a bit and get the display in. So I expected to do pretty much the same as when I change the colour that the head should move out the way if it doesn't well it did stop there and we've got pause we've got stop we've got change and preheat and more we'll pause now yep and the, the head has moved out the way uh, can I go back no, I don't think I can. But it does show the temperature. So let's see if that drops at all. Is it going to maintain the temperature? It's maintaining the fan and the temperature. So far as I can tell, I would have put 60 on the heat bed. Heat bed takes longer to cool because it's got a bigger mass. Nope, it's staying at 200. So that's so long as it'll start when I press resume, I'm going to leave it quite a number of hours because I'm going to bed. I'll come back in the mornings quite late at night now. Well, it's been about seven and a half hours. I thought I might get some ooze, there's a bit of filament oozed out. So just got some long nose plies there. Can I get that in the camera? No, focus, focus, focus. Yeah. 
Right, I'm going to press, uh, make sure we press the right button here, the zoom or whatever it is. Let me move the camera down, I might be able to almost get poor things in. Let's see. Right, so we've got stop, don't press stop. We've got zoom, extrude. Let me try extrude. As ah, but extrude seems to be off. Extrude the one, so it can go in and out. Ah, I can go five. Oh, I can do different amounts apparently. So I can do five millimeters, ten millimeters, one millimeter. I'm just going to do one millimeter. Out. No, I'm going to leave that. <laughs> I've left that, but you do have that choice of getting right. Resume. Sorry about the focus there. So you can see this castellation I was talking about. Looks like castellation on the edge of a castle wall. Yep, so I've started up, so as far as I can tell, let me click back down here because I want to get it on the, the screen. I want to see the time there. Just so it's not increased the time, so to speak, for that time level. But we had it on pause. That's okay, it's got the time on the print. Uh, six hours and now you can see why it had the castellation in vented on the, on the sides there it's made quite a bit of progress over the last or so, as you can see. See, there was a lot of area of plastic lay down on the bottom, but now it's only got the edges to do. Um, oh yes, I have to check my spool. Still a bit left on there. I almost forgot about the spool. We're looking at the bar graph, it's only suggesting the halfway through. I'm surprised at that looking at the model. Well, I almost forgot there, almost out of filament on the spool. Very, very close to being out of filament on the spool. Here's a spool, so don't ever let it sort of get really to the end because, as you see on this spool, it's almost tied into the spool here. Let me cut that off because it's easier for me. I 
do have a bit more filament not much so I've done as I did earlier out confirm yes and that's that's coming out Pretty quiet. Very quiet. Like so there, I think. I can't hear it. That's the noise of the filament. Catching and coming out. So I think the in and the out do just the right level uh, amount of filament there. I assume a lot of things like this are adjustable as on the ramps but I don't know how to do them yet. Right, I'll uh, change the filament as I did earlier. Okay, I put the filament in, read the label, unload filament, completed, check to confirm, yep. Yeah. And now I'm going to press the in button here. Head completed, please load filament, blah, 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 while well, I've loaded the filament. I found that I have to push the uh, lever over quite far. Oh, what? Ah, so, wait, 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 I didn't realise I had a biograph while it's loading the filament there. So as it's loading the filament, the bar graph's going. There's a, about a, this is um, the filament that I got with the printer that I had left. The 200 grams of filament to get you going. And I've still got some left on the spool, so we've got blue at the bottom, we've got red and we've got white. Red, white and blue. If this all works out, well, that's that's it. Let me take the hose off the nozzle with some long nose pliers. Have to reach round the back, and confirm load filament completed. Click to confirm and return. back and then pressing the resume button here. Let me zoom in with that a bit. Just there. And it goes starting straight away. Sorry that things getting in the way there. So now we should start getting white. It might look pinkish at first. I think this spool will give me a good hour and a half of filament and after that I've got some very small amounts that I can use, blue again. I do have some filament on order, after that I don't think I've got any more filament anywhere. I have to double check. So I might just make out the white edge coming on that print there. Well, the change filament on here is quite easy to do. What I found though is that the um, tightening extruder at the top, the lever, 
I have to push it quite firmly to get the filament in. That releases the sort of cog inside. I think it's a cog rather than a hob tooth unit, but similar sort of idea. And it releases the filament from that so that you can slide the filament in. Once it's released, it does go in quite easy, as long as you've probably cut an angle at it and straightened it a little bit. So you can just make out the white edge there, I think. I was going to put this on time lapse, but leave this going a little bit longer. White now is starting to really oops, show. As you can see, Checking a bit, this is tripod. Only, only have a very cheap tripod. start to really see the white taking over the red. You might see the blue on the bottom there. Not much blue. Well, it took quite a bit of plastic to do the blue, but it's only a sort of thin height anyway. Well, I came in and I panicked. I've seen this filament hanging off here. And I thought, oh, it's only got a tiny bit of filament on and I've pressed stop. After all those hours, I pressed stop. But that's probably good enough for me to see how well the power supply fits. There was a bit of filament still left on the spool. But now I'm basically out of filament, really. I've only got little bits left. I'm not going to muck about, I should have pressed pause. Let me make sure there's no way of continuing on. Change. 
I can't read this because my eyesight is quite bad. Toes. No. It's the normal stuff. So the bed's still warm so I'll let this cool down and then I'll take it off and then we'll see how well it fits as it is. We can see the white edge there now. So I've got blue layer quite thin, just the bottom of it, well not even the full bottom because inside we've also got red. That is like a thin sheet almost on the bottom. Should be blue and then we've got red. Quite a good strong print that seems like that's welded on there. Doesn't seem like it's going to break off that white section. Right, I'll let the bed cool then I'll come back. So what's the bed on? The bed's on 52 I think that is. Right, let's get off the bed. So you see the blue bottom there. Red and white. Pity I have um, panic there. Because the spool, you might see the spools come off the the thing on the top, I think it's been pulling on the plastic so much and it's quite lightweight that's pulled it off. I've got two power supplies here. I think they're both the same size. Can I zoom out on that? A little bit, let me move back. One's 24 and one's um, 12 volts. Doesn't matter which way around, oh yes it does actually, because I put a hole in here for the mains cable to go in, that might mean need making bigger. I haven't put, there's a bit of a cave on there, it's like a cave on the bottom corner there, I've just noticed that. Let's have a look at that back edge, which was the back edge, all the edges and the corners. Looks alright actually. Let me move this other light up a bit if I can. So let's see if this physic physically fits in here. It's very tight squeeze I think. No it doesn't. One idea behind prototyping. It's these, um, seems to be these like edges here. See the edges of this metal plate are sticking on there. Only just, only just, I might be able to force that in. I'll just try the other power supply. There might be a millimetre or two in it. Let's turn this around the right way. Don't know if I mean that, that the right way. So this is one idea behind prototyping is try something else. Now see that just about, because I think this has been bent this plate actually slightly. It just about fits in there but the top end doesn't. I'll have a look about this. Um, I think what I'll do is a 12mm cube and try power, power resume. Okay, I'll have to, let me see. Is there enough filament on there? There's probably enough filament on there to do this test because I only want to get a few layers and then um, turn off the power and then turn the power back on to see what happens. So I'll put this back up and I'll start pinning the cube and then I'll turn the power off part way through. So I'll put the spool on, I can see how easy it is to have come off actually. Because it's such a lightweight spool. And I'm going to use the software on my phone to actually start this up. Just a second. So it's MKS My Cloud. There we are. 
I showed you this earlier and I've got file up here top right hand so I can do file SD card U disk I don't know what U disk is let's do SD card pin testing on the SD card I have some folders there's a 10 millimeter cube do you want to pin this model okay and it should start up printing it should come back with the temperatures and such like on here after a few moments that's right, saying loading so I'm going to give this a few moments now this is what I was doing the other day loading 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 and I think I updated the firmware, well I didn't update the firmware, I reinstalled the firmware, the same firmware. And then it uh, seemed to go alright I think. Oh, continuously loading. I don't think it's going to do anything to be honest with you. Can I go back? So I'm just going to try the same file again, yes I want to pin that model, loading, I don't think it's going to work, I'm not sure it's not going to work, I don't know why, uh, the display down the bottom is on the basic normal settings, sorry I keep moving this out but I, have to, I don't want to show Equipment, local printer, yeah. Let me try moving uh, Z down. What we on? Let's do 100 millimeters down. So I'm going to do Z down 100 millimeters, and that's got control of the printer. So you see, it's controlling the printer. Let me try U disk. I don't know what U disk is. No files anyway. Got control up there. File. No files. Cut. SD card. Let's try one of the other files. Loading, 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 loading. I'll give it a few moments. Shouldn't take that long. It might. I did this the other day, and it, I thought it might have to be like loading the file into some sort of buffer. And that might take some time, but no, I, I left it quite some time, and it still didn't start printing. So we'll be getting on to the. Uh, FL Sun about this and um, they've been very supportive by the way FL Sun just emailing them their support have been very supportive quick responsive no problems and I've bought this myself I'd, I haven't gotten getting any backhanders any commission or anything like that no it's not going to work is it right I'll leave that but that's a good look at the colour change to show you that model again but that's good enough for a test like a porter for me to prototype let me try oh, and I am pulling on that trying to separate it it's creaking a bit because I'm bending it but no that's not not coming off just a tiny corner there that seems so not done quite so well. There should be a hole there. And there's a hole. Don't know if you if I can get that in the light. Yep, so there's your 
colour change, blue, red, white. So I'll redesign this slightly, just want to make it a little bit wider, I think. And then we'll see. I might make some other tweaks. I want to maybe put some sort of cable clamp on it as well. But this was just first iteration prototyping to try and get an idea of the size. Right, I'm going to try auto resume if the power goes off. Now I do not expect this to work. Right, I'm going to press the off button in about 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Randomly, we expect it to stay the same. I'm going to give it a few moments. As if the power's gone off. I do not expect this to resume. Now there might be a command the vision Marlin, I don't know about this system, um, that allows the printer to resume from the previous position. You need an SD card in for that because it saves the position to the SD card and that's how it remembers the position. But that's Marlin on ramps, usually. Right, I'm going to press the on button, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Ah, it's co come back with a message. Let me turn this light off. Ever. File, please check it again. I'm ready to print, confirm. I'm going to do retry. Error. Error. No file, please check it again. And I've got the option of stop, I'm going to try again. No file, please check it again. Nothing else, only stop. So obviously, presumably if I press stop, it's going to actually stop the print. And it's gone back to the display. So that fact that it came back with the error there suggests that there is some sort of like resume facility possibly. But I don't know why I haven't been able to get that work as working as you see. And it's obviously and the print hasn't gone back to where it should sort of go to. Move. Can I have a go home in here? And we've got Z. So that's the part that sort of started printing and didn't con didn't resume. I'm afraid. Not initially using the settings I have. I don't know if there's a setting to resume on this machine. So that was a bit of a fail.